hey there guys so tonight I'll go over uh, some of the settings for the AC air and uh, I'm going to address an issue that uh, some of you have uh, while trying to connect uh, the AC air to the Skawatcha GTI mount <laughs> Okay, so before I formally jump into the video, uh, I just wanted to take a second to wish uh, all of you guys a happy new year and uh, I really hope that you spend it uh, with your loved ones uh, and you give them a bunch of kisses plus uh, that you made uh, a big uh, to-do list for the new year since we actually entered a new decade. So I really hope that uh, all of your goals uh, and wishes come true and uh, I'm not just talking about uh, astrophotography since uh, this uh, at the end of the day is uh, just a hobby but uh, I hope that uh, I hope that all of your wishes come true in your personal life as well. Okay, and the first thing that I wanted to talk about today is uh, that uh, some of you had issues uh, connecting the ACR to the Skywatch GTI mount. So I got a couple of emails uh, addressing this issue. And for almost all of you, there was actually a really simple solution that worked. So right after you do your star alignment, uh, I would just recommend you to power up the ACR unit. Uh, before you even go to the Wi-Fi settings and uh, modify the station. So by the time you hit the apply button, uh, the Wi-Fi link is already running between your uh, mobile phone and uh, the, the AC Air. And that was the simplest solution that, uh, like I said, for almost all of you worked. But if even that doesn't solve your uh, connecting issues, uh, please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments or just uh, send me an email and uh, I'll try to help you like that. But the other thing that I got asked uh, is uh, if I could talk a bit uh, about my guiding settings. And let me just mention that at this point uh, I am still uh, kind of experimenting myself since guiding in the AC Air and uh, PhD is uh, a little bit different. And I promise I'll do an in-depth uh, video uh, once I got everything uh, figured out because I really hope that this year I'll make uh, a better use of my portable system and uh, I'll go to some uh, dark uh, spots or should I say to less uh, polluted uh, skies and at this point let me just mention that uh, as long as your periodic error is uh, under two arc seconds I think that your images will turn out uh, fine especially if you have a telescope uh, similar to mine that's uh, either 500 millimeters or less and you are imaging with a DSLR like I said your images should uh, look uh, actually quite fine Okay, so since my last video I've been imaging uh, almost every night and uh, that's because we have some strange uh, streak of clear nights and if this is an indication on uh, how the weather will look uh, the whole year I think that I won't be complaining much about it like in almost every previous video but uh, sadly we still have the moon and tonight a little over half of it is shining so I'm imaging using the H-alpha filter and uh, since uh, tonight's target uh, is the California Nebula I think that that's a great target it has a lot of HA in it and I hope that tonight's session will be enough to get uh, a decent image because it's uh, very cold so I don't want to spend uh, too much time outside it's said to be minus 4 degrees and uh, I can already see that uh, my gear is starting to freeze up I'd rather hide inside and just uh, have a look at my smartphone uh, from time to time or just make myself uh, a nice uh, cup of uh, warm tea but I think that that's about it for this video and again I just really want to wish you a happy new year guys and I'll see you again next time take care Bye.